Hi dear students, today I am going to discuss how to find the surface area of a right circular cone. Okay, so here I am going to show a simple illustration to get the formula of finding surface area of circular cone. Here I am taking a piece of paper which is in the form of a semicircle. Radius of the semicircle can be considered as L. Okay, radius can be considered as L. Now, what will be the area of this semicircle or area of this paper? Area of paper, piece of paper will be pi L square by 2. Why pi L square by 2? Because area of the circle is pi L square. Area of a circle with the radius L will be pi L square. And here we need to call it the half of the circle that means pi L square by 2. Now, I am going to fold this paper, piece of paper, uh, to make into the shape of a cone. Clear. Now we have got is it is in the form of a cone. Clear. So, so the covered surface area of this cone should be equal to the piece of this paper. Clear. Because nothing I add up or subtract. And one more thing is that the length of the semicircle should be equal to the length of the circle formed when I made a cone. That means the length of the semicircle should be is equal to the length of the new circle. Clear. So what is the length of the semicircle we can write in this formula? That is length of semicircle is equal to pi n clear and therefore this pi n should be equal to the length of the new circle that means when I made this con this semicircle into the form of a cone I have got a new circle at the bottom part of the cone with the radius r clear this is the circle and the length of the circle that will be 2 pi r clear that means the length of the series circle should be equal to the length of the circle and these two have different radius because for this it will be L and for the cone again radius will be radius so pi cancelled L is equal to 2r this is the relation we have got clear now, the covered surface area of cone is equal to circular cone. Okay, we are considering circular cone because its base is in the form of a circle, which is equal to it should be the a it should the covered surface area of the cone should be equal to the area of the pair. So we can consider pi l into there is l square that is pi l into L okay divided by 2. So for 1 L we are keeping as the same and for 1 L we are putting the value L is equal to 2R divided by 2 will be this 2 to cancel. Then what will be the covered surface area of right circular cone is equal to pi R L. This is the formula to find the covered surface area of the right circular form. One thing you remember that you cannot use this formula to find the covered surface area of a cone. Don't use this formula because this formula we have got only by considering that a semicircle is converted to in the a semicircle made into the form of a cone. But not necessarily always, sometimes a quadrant of the circle also can be made into a cone. So in that way this formula will not work. Uh, here I just shown we can make the formula like this. The actual way of deriving this formula is not like this. It is actually given in your textbook as an activity which is uh, given in page number 218 and 219. Clear. You can refer that activity because that activity is very lengthy because of that only the simple way of making the formula. So once again I am repeating don't use this formula to find the covered surface area of circular cone. Now, 
What will be the total surface area? Total surface area is equal to covered surface area plus covered surface area plus area of this space. Covered surface area plus area of this space. That is pi r square. Here pi r is common taking outside, so we will get pi r into what will be remaining here l plus here it will be one more r. So this is the area of or total surface area of a right circular cone. Now, where will this end? What will be the L in this equation? Because here L is the radius of this semicircle. And when it comes to the cone, this is the radius. Okay. And when I made it to the cone, this will become this length. Okay. This is we are calling as slant height. Okay. L is the slant height. L is equal to slant height. L is equal to slant height. What is the relation between slant height and height and radius of the cone? L is equal to this is the radius and this is the height h. So we can see that these are like a side of the right angle triangle. Clear? H is the perpendicular distance. And H and R are perpendicular to each other. And radius uh, slant height acts as a hypotenuse of right angle. Applied by the Gauss theorem, you will get L equal to square root of H square plus R square. This is the important relation we need to remember it. L is equal to H square plus R square. Clear? Okay? So, this is all about the introduction of. Surface area of right circular cone. Now let's take some question from exercise 13.3 to apply this formula. Okay. So first I'm starting with a simple question that is diameter of the base of a cone is 10.5 cm and its slant height is 10 cm. Find its curved surface area. So here diameter is given 10.5 cm which is implies radius equal to 10.5 by 2 half of the diameter which is equal to 21 by 4 centimeter here it was in decimal point was the but i converted into fraction by multiply numerator and denominator by 2 okay then what is slant height is slant height is given as 10 centimeter what is the question actually? Covered surface area. Covered surface area is equal to pi r l. Pi r l, which is equal to what is the value of pi? We can substitute in the question. Pi value is not given, so we can put pi is equal to 22 by 7 into what is the radius? 21 by 4 into what is l? L is equal to 10. Cancel 3. Here, 4 we can cancel with 22, 11. Again, 1, 2 will be there, that 2 we can cancel with 5, 10. So, we will get to 5. Now, 11 into 3 is equal to 33, 33 into 5 is equal to 165 centimeter square. This is the covered surface area of the given circular cone. Remember, here I made this decimal into fraction. Not necessarily that we have to follow the same way. Okay? For numerical calculations, you can follow which method is convenient for you or which way is the most convenient for you, you can follow it. This is the most convenient way for me, so I follow this way. Clear? So, which one is the most easiest way for you, you can do like that. Okay? Not necessary to follow the same procedure. Now, I am taking question number 3. Okay? Question number 3, option number 1. Covered surface area of a cone is 300 centimeter square. Slant height is given 14 centimeter. Okay. So covered surface area is equal to is equal to covered surface area is equal to 308 
centimeter square. Slant height is equal to 14 centimeter. First question is radius of the base we have to find. What is the carbon surface area formula? That implies pi r l pi r l is equal to 308. Substitute those values 22 by 7 into radius we have to find keep it as a and l is equal to 14 which is equal to 308 this cancelled we will get a 2 the radius is equal to 308 divided by 22 into 2 will be 44 which is equal to 7 centimeter okay so this is the radius what is the second question second question is total surface area of the Total surface area is very easy, that is, total surface area is equal to, we can directly use this formula, cover surface area plus, we can directly use the formula, cover surface area plus pi r square, instead of pi r into L plus r. Okay, because, why we are using this formula, because cover surface area already is given. Because of that, we are using this formula. If it is not given or we didn't find, then we can use this formula. That is, total surface area is equal to covered surface area 308 plus what is pi pi equal to 22 by 7. Into what is the radius? Radius is 7. That is, 7 square will be 7 into 7. Cancel it. 308 plus 22 into 7 is equal to 154 which is equal to 462 cm square so next i am taking question number 5 what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide will be required to make a conical tent of height 8 meter and waist diameter 6 meter assume that extra length of the material that will be required for stitching margins and wastage in cutting is approximately 20 cm use pi equal to 3.14 so the value of pi is given 3.14 clear and what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide so length of the tarpaulin we need to find it with a 3 meter width width of the tarpaulin is given 3 meter to make a conical tent of height 8 cm, 8 meter and base radius 6 meter. So to make a conical tent of base radius is 6 meter and height is 8 meter. Clear. That is radius of the conical tent is given 6 meter and height is given. 8 meter. First, let's find the slant height of the conical length that is L equal to square root of H square plus R square, which is equal to what is H? 8 square. H square will be 8 square plus R square will be 6 square, which again is equal to 8 square is equal to 64 plus 6 square is equal to 36, which is equal to Square root of 64 plus 36 is equal to 100, which is equal to 10 meter. Clear? Here, the radius is given in meter, height also given in meter, so obviously the slant height will be in meter, 10 meter. Come to the question that assume that extra length of the material will be required for stitching margin and wastage in cutting is approximately 20 cm. So among this total length, among this total length, 20 cm will be wasted. Okay, 20 cm will be required for uh, will be wasted as well as it will be used for stitching the margin. That means the area, this much area will be wasted. Okay. So what will be the area of this conical length? The area of this tarpaulin sheet minus the extra portion which required. Okay, this is the wasted portion. 
is equal to the curved surface area of the conical tent. Because in case of tent, we are not going to cover the bottom face. We need to calculate only the curved surface area. So according to the question, we will get that area of entire tarpaulin sheet, tarpaulin sheet, sheet minus area of sheet wasted wasted is equal to curved surface area of tent okay total area of this tarpaulin sheet minus this area okay which is equal to the area of conical tent so we can easily find therefore what is the total area of the sheet that will be L into 3 that means length into breadth minus 0 0.2 into 3 that is the length of this portion and the breadth will be same why it is 0 0.2 because here it is given 20 cm as other quantities are given in meters so we should convert this 20 cm into meter so 20 cm is equal to 0 0.2 which is equal to curved surface area is pi r l. Now 3 is common taking outside, so we will get l minus 0 to into 3, which is equal to what is the value of pi? Pi value is given that is 3.14 into what is the radius? Radius is equal to 6 and the slant height is equal to 10 meter. That implies L minus 0 0.2 is equal to 3.14 into 6 into 10 divided by 3. This cancelled, we will get a 2. That implies L is equal to 3.14 into 2 will be 6.28 into 10 is there, so we will get a 62.8. Again, this minus 0 0.2 will be plus 0 0.2, which is equal to 63 meter. This is the length of the tarpaulin sheet required. Now, I am discussing question number 8. A bus stop is barricaded from the remaining part of the road by using 50 hollow coins made of recycled cardboard. Each cone has a base diameter of 40 cm. So diameter is equal to 40 cm. Therefore radius is equal to 20 cm. Clear. And height is equal to 1 meter. H is equal to 1 meter. So as height is given in meter, so better convert radius into meter. That is 0 0.2 meter. Clear. So radius is given, height is given. So we need to find the slant height. So L is equal to square root of H square plus R square. Therefore L is equal to square root of H is 1, 1 square plus R square will be 0 0.2 whole square. That is equal to square root of 1 square is 1 plus 0 0.2 square will be 0 0.04. That is equal to 1.04. Now we need to find the square root of this. But in the question already it is given that use pi equal to 3.14 and take square root of 1.04 is equal to 1.02. That implies L is equal to 1.02. It is already given in the question that is square root of 1.04 is equal to 1.08. Clear. So we don't need to find it. And pi, pi value is also given as 3.14. So all the value quantities we have. And cost of painting is 12 rupees per meter square. Clear. Cost of painting. Cost of painting is 
12 rupees per meter square. So we have all the quantities and number of cones is equal to number of cones is equal to 50. There are total of 50 cones. What is the question? The all is given and what will be the cost of painting all this cone? That means we need to find the total cost of painting of we need to find the we need to find the total cost of painting 50 cone. Therefore, total cost of painting 50 cone 50 cone is equal to what is the total cost? 50 into covered surface area of cone into cost per meter square that is 12 substitute those values we will get 50 into what is pi pi is equal to 3.14 into what is r red is equal to 0 0.2 into what is l l is equal to 1.02 into 12 just calculating all these values we will get 384.336 that is equal to 384. Counting this value, we will get a 3.34 approximately. With this, I am going to conclude this session. In the next video, I will discuss. How to find the surface area of a sphere as well as heavy sphere. Thank you.